for the Panthers, and the Irish have it at the 23-yard line. Armando Allen's first carry of the game as a flag comes flying. They're getting rid of it quickly right now. Four wides to the left of the formation. Underneath to Rudolph with a flag down, and Rudolph short of the 10-yard Down Here's Sierra Wood in the lineup for Notre Dame for the first time. As Chris throws it to Floyd, and Michael Floyd colored it. Second time, Brandon Lindsay with good. The leading tackler this season for the Panthers. Drop play, Wood, third straight call, spins his way. And has a first down. Detect against that. Chris hangs it up for Floyd. Son, so Brax to the big. Brax, they call him. Brax and company didn't move many pit bottles. Receiving end of second down 16. Chris to Goodman. Pass is caught, but Goodman can't get away. Only to the 26 yard line. Second down 15. You see the numbers for Chris. He's hit four for five. For the end zone, and yep, that'll be an information surgeon so far in this first half. Quick toss barely got it to Allen. Couldn't find one. Stopped. They might have worked on the fake kicks after the Michigan State game. They in a handoff to uh, Armando Allen. Allen's first carry of the second. Every Saturday before the game, he went to a lot of games while he was growing up. Here's a third down pass. Chris sets his feet. Airs it down the sideline to Michael Floyd. Final minute in the third. Chris throws underneath. It's caught. First down, Irish. Chris. Ball deflected incomplete. Six in the nation in sacks. They don't have one tonight. Todman picks up about one. But if sacks this year, they've gotten them. They've averaged three a game and come from their defensive linemen. A little pressure here on Frazier. Frazier throws it up. He's got his shot, and his team's down by one. And Frazier, first completion in a while to Kashif Moore. Those two hooked up for a touchdown pass earlier tonight. This time, a third down conversion. Pressure coming from behind. Frazier didn't know it. It was Lindsey who got it. A flag is down. UConn has recovered. Individual bowls have latitude within those parameters to select teams. Zach Frazier pressured by Brandon Lindsay, and Zach almost threw it into the waiting arms of Ricky Garrett from, from Suwannee, Georgia, who comes in. This team needing a drive, and Box going to run with it. So now it's third and eight. See if they put it in Zach Frazier's hands. They do. Frazier completes it to Todman. Todman's going to be stopped short. Gutsy call by Edsel that pays off. Todman's getting a rest. Robbie Fry's in. That's a team that's not been out of the Big East Championship the last two years. So it just gets tougher and tougher. They're just trying to get the brace and get it comfortable. In the meantime, Robbie Fry's in the backfield, and Robbie is greeted by Frazier. Gets rid of it to his tight end. Ryan Griffin has the need to get outside. Fry is in again to give Todman a spell. And that UConn offensive line is dominating right now. UConn will keep it on the ground. Fry giving Todman a rest. Pittsburgh did not allow a 100 yard. But why would a call? <laughs> Channeling his inner Les Miles. Jordan Todman. Todman across the 30. He might have gotten a face. 
the nation's eighth ranked rush defense. Here he comes again. Codman. Back in the pocket, he will run the football. And here he goes inside the 20. That's Morgan Newton. Third and five. I stand corrected. He swings it out, and this is Derek Locke. Locke is all the way. Second and one for the Cats. Locke again. Plenty of running room. Showing that burst of speed. Inside the 40-yard line, all the way down to the 35. That was Mike Hartline as the quarterback for Kentucky this year. And again, a good pressure inside. The ball on the carpet. And they're going to save place for the Panthers. A loss of eight on the play. Second and 18. They set up the screen. Sanders and nowhere to go. All right, thanks a lot, Will. Back here in Birmingham. Newton goes back to work, and Newton's going down. So that out of the eye formation, and they keep it on the ground. Locke tries to break to the outside, and he almost gets there. Dragged down from behind at the 25-yard line. Greg all-purpose yards per game, which is number one of the SEC. Newton does a run from the get-go. He gets down inside the uh, 35 minutes and 22 seconds off the clock. This one's complete. Top of your screen. Nice move by Cobb. For the rest of the afternoon, though, third drop for Kentucky. Here we go, the reverse. And there it is, Cobb inside the five, close to the touchdown. He's not going to get it. Plays Kentucky trying to get a little bit more up-tempo now in the fourth quarter. Newton, plenty of time, looks up, fires, finds his man, and it's complete to LaRod King. Of course, Kentucky fans passionate and wild about their college basketball. Now their football team playing catch-up. Newton got rid of the ball, incomplete, just... Seven and six and have a winning season, John. But I guess if there's any silver lining, this is going to be your quarterback next year, more than likely. Or, so he's getting some reps here today. And uh, this one should have been picked. Ten rushing touchdowns for Locke, and he missed four complete games this year. Newton comes out firing, and this one's complete to Chris Matthews up over the 35 yard line. And uh, Cobb, uh, the former quarterback, has thrown three touchdown passes. Newton. Takes it inside the 45-yard line out of Cincinnati St. Xavier High School. Amazing. Newton. And this one's going to fall incomplete. Newton. Fires. And this one's almost picked off. Don Hands and Chris Matthews, a big-time receiver. Matthews with one catch. Here's Cobb now. He's got some running room. And he's going to be tripped up. And the Cats will be working from the eye formation. Little pitch. Here's Locke. And Locke gets down to the 20-yard line. 